Okay, Emma, um, Friday of Piri Boat Week, so things are kicking into gear today. Uh, we've had quite a few uh, trips and things going off during the week. Uh, plenty of folk milling around the, the museum. Can you tell me a little bit more about what, what's happening this morning? Um, we've got a few people that are waiting to go on the Vale of May, I think, this morning. So. We have, yeah. Um, we've been doing the boat trips all week, so uh, we've had up to five trips out each day, either on the Vale of May or the Laura Kay. Um, the Vale of May is the, the traditional sixerine boat, so she's the larger one um, with the traditional dip and lug sail. So it's, it's quite an experience for folk to see that because it's not just like a normal sailing boat, they actually have to hoist the sail and then to, to turn the boat they basically pull it down, pass it around and then put it back up again. So it's, yeah. it's a really interesting process to Fantastic. watch. Fantastic. And you were telling me as well, kind of over the over the summer as well, there's been plenty of people that get involved in, in learning those skills as well. Yeah, and that's kind of um, one of the main aims of um, establishing Shetland Boat Week and, and Piri Boat Week this year, is to make sure that the traditional skills aren't lost. Um, the, the kind of younger generation obviously don't have the opportunity to, to sail um, traditional dip and lug sail, um, or square, square sail as uh, some folk call it. Um, so we've got a pool of, I'd say, sort of between 15 to 20 folk that have been going out uh, on a weekly basis to, to learn um, basically how to sail this boat. And it's a really good way of passing the skills on for the older generation um, to, to the younger generation and just keeping the enthusiasm alive for it. Yeah, and we were saying as well with Piri Boat Week, we've obviously got, got the experience of getting people out on the water. There's lots of talks and things that are happening, lots of workshops. Yeah. Can you give me just a quick rundown of what else is going to be happening kind of over the, over the weekend as well? Um, well, now that we've come to Friday, we've been doing the boat trips all week. Um, now that we're at Friday, then things are kind of stepping up a bit more with um, additional activities. So. Um, we have the keynote lecture tonight, um, which is to be delivered by Brian Lavery, um, and that's on the, the whole fishing disaster um, and how that kind of changed. Um, well, so it was a really important piece of social history. It changed a lot of things uh, for, for fishermen. Um, we also have um, various tours and... Um, there's workshops, isn't there? I think yeah. we've got going off. We've also got the, uh, I think there's a sea shanty workshop as well that's going to be there taking is, place yeah. tomorrow, which yeah. should be should be a bit different too. So That's something a bit different, yeah. Kate McCullough has been doing a lot of research over the last few years um, with Harriet Watt University just into the importance of maritime heritage in small communities. So she's come up um, and she'll be delivering a workshop on um, writing a new sea shanty, which works in really well actually because the Yale shanty men are going to be here all day tomorrow doing performances through the day as well. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for that. I think I'm going to uh, strap on a life jacket because I'm going to be going on, on the next trip as well. So, yeah, yeah look no, forward there's, to it. Um, there's uh, still spaces on trips today um, and they'll be out again tomorrow if the weather's okay. okay.